Hey guys, Newer here once again, and we are back today with some more Maple Story. Today's video is going to be a pretty special one. I'm actually really excited to play this character, and I'll tell you guys why. This character is one of the characters that I've grew up with. I want to, you know, try to be very optimistic about this, because a lot of people are saying mages are not good, they're not strong, they're not the meta. I'm, I'm going to try to prove everyone wrong, even though it's pretty probably clear that, hey, mages are not the meta. Let's think about a name now. So, a priest. A priest is always, you know, someone who's really beloved by other people. What does a cleric usually do? They heal. I, I, I think I'm really liking this. The holy, which symbolizes the cleric, the priest that we all know about. The heal, which symbolizes the high heels the women wear. But the name is already in use. I mean, there is an anime called Free Ren. I don't know if you guys know about this anime. It's probably one of the top ones recently. But there is a corrupted priest in the anime. What can we say about a corrupted priest? A corrupted priest can enjoy beer. Beer with an H? Okay. I think that's it, guys. We're gonna stick with beer. Which is basically, once again, a corrupted priest priest that loves to drink beer which kind of beer definitely not ipa but we're gonna stick with beer <laughs> we always do love to come back here and talk to grendel the old i mean grendel has been through a lot especially towards the end of the black mage arc before we begin everything what we are going to do is skip a little bit of the tutorial definitely we are also going to grab a little bit of goodies now this is going to be a really really quick fast run we're going to grab a couple of these pots and some double xp coupons grab some elixir we're going to grab the terror burning item definitely we're going to use a pendant so it's mandatory to talk a little bit about the cleric and our history with the mages every time we create a new character and this time around being the cleric i mean I really was a good mage back in the days. I was really good at it. I loved playing the cleric. Why? Because party quests were a thing back in the days. And when doing party quests, you definitely needed a cleric. It was one of the most demanded character alongside a thief for the haste. And I would even say a dark knight for the hyper body for one of, you know, a couple quests. Not, not not really important to have the hyper party but definitely heal and haste was the most important thing when doing party quests now i've been hearing that a lot of people nowadays are also still asking for clerics because these clerics basically have a skill called benediction which i'm not familiar with if i'm being honest right now and a lot of people are asking that because it's needed for high-end bosses like black mage or even i think chaos or Kaling, which again not familiar not at the stage yet but as for now i just want to know a little bit about you guys if you know if there's any lovers of cleric is cleric even a character that you know people wish to be nerfed or even buffed at this point you know and a lot of things that i used to do with the cleric was to train in elmath with the zombies and i was also training a lot in ludibrium with the master chronos and the regular chronos as well so we're gonna try for this gameplay to walk around some old places right so we're gonna try and visit some old nostalgic places with the cleric where hopefully we do have heal and we can you know pop pop heal as our main attack like it used to be and one thing i also wanted to mention is how i really 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 do miss the magic claw attack i mean come on guys if anything if maple story can bring the magic claw attack back as like a not a mandatory skill but like a a main skill for third job or four, even fourth job and then for fifth job you can just use something else I don't know, but I do miss the magic claw attack. It was just one of the most OP attacks for a mage. Now we have this weird energy ball that is, you know, doing doing its job not too bad. But I do wish I had some other kind of of a kind of attack right now. Another place that I used to train a lot was here. Now early level 30s, 40s, I believe. I don't, I don't think they changed their levels. They're level 44 at the moment, but if I'm not mistaken, these used to be level 30 to 40 mobs which was pretty decent actually again just spamming heal here was one of the most op attacks a little bit more there we go 
Level 31. So the choices is pretty clear. I'm gonna go with a cleric. Oh my god, we do have heal. Restores the HP of all surviving party members, including yourself. Reduces heals cooldown by the number of the people in your party. What? There's a cooldown? No way there's a cooldown. Okay, and then we have Holy Arrow, which I do remember about Holy Arrow. High Wisdom, it's for stats. MP Eater, we love to see this. Absorption of MP, yes. Invincible. Oh, I do remember this one too. Damage taken minus 7. This is pretty good. We're familiar with Bless. Wait a second. Now, is Cleric one of the most OP buff character now? I'm seeing a lot of buffs already. All right. Okay, holy symbol is actually, I mean, holy arrow is very different. It used to be just a simple white arrow. And what about heal? You yeah, know, I, I don't like the fact that heal has a cooldown. Okay. But we did mention that we're going to try and be more optimistic about the cleric. So it's okay. You know, maybe if we max the heal skill, we might have no more cooldowns on it. But we're going to do a little bit more grinding and take a look at what the third job is going to offer. Guys, another place. I, let, me, let me test the heal. Ooh, okay, yeah. Heal still does attack these monsters. What? No way. I do miss the green heal. Let me be honest with you guys. But it's not the same. Okay. A little bit shocking. Is there a way to have no cooldown on the heal? Unless we do like... If we put all of our legendary abilities and some other stats on our equips as minus cooldown, we might have an unlimited heal like it used to be. But this was one of a one of the OP maps as well to train as a cleric, especially when back in the days there were so many people here. If Maple Siri could actually revamp the heal attack, so you would have either heal as a like you actually heal people, or you would have heal as an attack version, an offensive one where you would just you know right click on it and it will transform into the offensive one right if they can do something like that maybe it already does exist let me see no it doesn't okay we're gonna have a try for our very first zacuum with the cleric now we do we definitely don't have much damage as a level 55 we're lacking a lot of equips but it's not looking too bad and there we have it level 58 and we do get a wand Let's see if that one is going to be any better. Yes! Okay, we're going to use this one for a bit. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, I did mention this area where we used to just train and try to take on Barlock. I was the cleric sitting here, spamming heal, and unfortunately, we didn't kill it. I died because of this junior Barlock being way too strong for us. But you know what? I'm back here in 2024 trying to take my revenge against you, my guy. I did not like the way you killed me with one shot fireball attack. And there we have it. Sweet revenge. We are finally level 61. We're gonna go and hit our second, I mean, not second job, our third job. Give us our simple tasks. Have a quick look. Shining Ray seems like an attack for us. We put it right here. Holy Fountain. Someone say Holy Fountain restores party members HP. Even party members with the undead statue can use it. Approach the fountain and press up to heal. Okay. We got teleport mastery, teleport boost. Familiar with that. Some crit increase. Holy magic shell. HP recovers 31. All right, ladies and gents, I took a little bit of time to read a little bit about some of these skills that we have for the third job. A lot of different skills. Now we have the first one here, divine protection kind of you know helps you with statue resistance and some elemental resistance definitely have to learn how to use this we got two more new skills the spell and holy fountain now holy fountain it's really just going up there and clicking the up arrow so you can have like a unlimited fountain of heal but since we're here this is another map that i used to train while using the heal attack definitely the spell is kind of nice nullifies magic and curing all abnormal status attempts and chance i will take all the tips and tricks about the cleric and the bishop if you guys know a little bit more how to use some of these skills let me know in the comments because your boy here is kind of struggling <laughs> with all these new skills let me say that shining ray this skill attack is actually a little bit better than i remember i remember that the old 
style of Shining Ray was a little bit... The AoE was not great. Let me say that. The AoE was not great. You could barely attack any mobs. They had to really be like two feet away from you instead of what we have right now. Pretty good range of attack. Let me say that. It's been pretty quick. Pretty easy. But let me get this job advanced and have a little chat with you guys. All right. So, so far, a couple skills that I do like is um, Holy Magic Shell. Now, this is kind of OP. Kind of broken. This kind of works like the Paladin's Synchronity skill, I feel like that's what the name is. Where you kind of go invincible for 15 seconds. And you also do block 15 attacks from any bosses or any monsters as well. Heals up you to 50%. So, it's pretty good. Good for bossing, definitely, when you're in dire situation. Now, Shining Ray, guys, let me say, I have a lot of fun. Now, I'm a big guy about... You know, having fun is the most important thing when playing Maple Story, right? It doesn't matter if it's the meta or not. If you are having fun, I think that is the meta. Now, third job for beer here, our beloved, or should I say, corrupted Bishop. Loving it so far. Now, we're going to take a little break and take a look at the other skills that we have here. Now, Shining Ray is going to be another main attack, I presume. Okay, I already feel like I know what Genesis is going to be. I'm going to put it up here. It's going to clear the map. Less Harmony increases some attack. Great. Big Bang, another attack. Cool. I think Big Bang is going to probably take the spot of Shining Ray, unfortunately. Let's have a look at Big Bang. Oh my god, I mean... Okay, and what about the Shining Ray? Yeah, this is like our main attack, I presume. Yeah, this is the attack we're going to be using for bosses. Which is pretty decent, a lot of attacks. But Big Bang is... What's beautiful here is Big Bang, yep. I mean, hey... I thought Shining Ray was pretty good attack, but Big Bang seems to be even better. Cleared the whole map, and it's not even a long casting of this attack it's really quick and easy you know we've been doing a little bit of upgrading while we can we are currently wearing a couple of our frozen gear star force to max we're only level 100 and we have so many buffs and so many active potes that i am actually kind of worried about what's going to happen with fifth job and we're not even going to talk about sixth job yet but so far, so good. And the reason why we're here in Ludibrium, well, before we go to the Kronos area, let me just take care of this bad boy real quick. When you're talking about bossing and having like a simple skill, I think the arrow is just perfect. We're here with the Kronos guys, and Kronos means I spend a lot of time here. Slimy Hill, and this area was a very popular area to be at. You know, a lot of people were coming here. A lot of dexless sins, you know, trying to take advantage of, of of their dexless stats and get the kills from us. But us clerics, we did not bow down to them. We still went on and we tried to <laughs> hold down the map as hard as we could. But this was a great place to train. The heal is still not the best as it used to be. I want this to have no cooldown. So spam in the chat or spam in the comments to please buff heal and naturally what comes after the chronos was this area here i don't know let me see if i can use heal on these guys yeah we can still use it but it's not effective that's okay if you guys do remember this was an area where a lot of people died a lot <laughs> it was not easy to be here definitely not guys i almost forgot to come here i mean you know when you're training a new character you're just so zoned in and you just you know you're just training popping those coupons but i really wanted to come back here and take a look at what the zombies have to offer unfortunately a little bit too high of a level if we do talk a little bit about elnath when we did come to the cave this is when you knew that you know things are about to get a little bit more serious this is when you know a lot of people start respecting you as a cleric you're like okay you know what this is your area we're not going to KS you anymore because they couldn't even KS you anymore. Guys, there's a little skill that I'm not too sure about. A lot of new skills and let me see where I can find this one. Okay. The Righteousness in Indignant or yeah, Indignant. Converts, heal, dispel, holy fountain and holy water to angelic wrath. 
Prime Feather, Fountain of Vengeance, and Blood of Divine. Now, I have no idea how this works. My heal becomes an attack. If I can show you guys, boom, this is heal. And then there's this, which usually heals you. I don't know what it is now. Is it something that attacks mobs? And then we have feathers going left and right. And then dispel. Okay, this. Okay. Okay, I see what it is. It attacks mobs. So dispel becomes another kind of buff, I think. Look, don't quote me on anything that I'm saying at the moment because I am as lost as I can be. This is almost like a brand new character for me. Like, this is not a bishop that I do remember at all. But. You know, again, tips and tricks in the comments, guys. I will, as usual, read them. And I will try my best to understand what I can do with these. But, I mean, hey, I don't need heal, per se. So, I can keep in this format and just keep attacking. We also do have a dragon. Better than the fire and the ice wizard, I feel like. And I did get, you know, warned by you, one of you guys. Or, um, I would even say many of you guys that the macro management of a mage, especially a bishop, is tough, right? It's tough, and I'm definitely going to need three pets for this character. Oh my god, guys. I just, I'm just trying to learn, right? But as you guys can see, I have two kind of like mystic portals, or one's for healing and one's for attacking. Now, this is kind of giving me luminous vibes because you got to like kind of control light and dark oh i almost i almost died there but yeah i think i'm gonna switch to heal because i need to heal a little bit this is becoming a very 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 complicated character now i'm not regretting it yet i'm just trying to understand i'm some you know i'm level 160 at the moment let's hit this oh baby all right okay couple couple skills now benediction that's the one that everyone's talking about calls upon your holy power to create a constant a consecrated space that empowers and rivet and revitalize your at your enemies so what does it do exactly final damage plus five percent periodically recovers one percent max hp and mp clears certain statuses and half their attack speed increased what one percent per 25 100 int okay plus one percent recovery attack speed plus one per ten thousand int up to three max well benedict it's not that op i feel like i don't know maybe i'm wrong angel of balance summons an angel of balance possessing with compassion and vengefulness kind of feels like this is a clear the map body men of divine power directly at your enemy this is an attack six enemies four times restore 16 percent of bishops max hp oh divine punishment punish the wicked in the name of heaven we do have a bishop all right let's put all of these skills up in the matrix we're gonna have a test the uh, question is where am i gonna put all of these skills because i am kind of running out of space guys let's start off with benediction all right it's probably gonna be a oh, okay it's that skill Okay, I see. Well, I think the party members have to be within the circle to get the buff or something like that. Let's have a try with Divine Punishment. Oh, wait a minute. Let's give the Divine Punishment another try. Okay, it's not bad. There is a little cooldown. Oh, you can hold it down, I think. Oh, I, I think I love the skills already. We're going to now try Peacemaker. Okay, <laughs> let's give that a try once more. That was kind of kind of weird, but let's <laughs> give it a try. Okay. What do I think about that? It's it's fine, I guess. It's fine. It does. It, it, it is. You do. I mean, I guess every character does need some sort of a throwing kind of skill. And if you re okay, it's kind of like the Dark Lord's uh, throwing star, the big one. Let's see if what Angel of Balance is all about. Oh, oh, okay. Two little sisters coming up to help me. One purple, one blue. Kind of feel like Mercedes vibes on that one. A lot of skills. I love Divine Punishment. I need to learn more about Benediction. 
Peacemaker is a little bit weird. You just throw like an angel. An angel of balance. Let me know in the comments down below any tips and tricks. I need to learn more. Now, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Do share with some friends. This has been Nuri. Spread your peace and love. And I will catch you guys on the next one.